Thank you for being with us here for the news at noon. It's great to be with you. I'm Simone Woolridge. We are one day away from the official start of NFL free agency. And that means, yes, we are still on Aaron Rodgers watch. So I want to bring in Lance Allen, who has been watching those developments very closely today. I feel like we're getting closer and closer, right? Getting closer, but I took a couple of days off, and I feel like I'm right back almost close to where I was when I left. Just Simone. jump right back in. Yeah, just jump right back in. Here we go. All right. The one thing we can say to those that are in the know, they aren't saying anything. Aaron Rodgers says he has a small inner circle, and I believe it. And from his usual interview landing spot, Pat McAfee just said on his show within the hour that he has no information on the Packers and Aaron Rodgers situation. And then the speculation begins. Pro Football Talk now thinking this might be a big game of chicken between the Packers, Rodgers, and the Jets. Some feel New York is lowballing the Packers, and the Packers know the Jets need Rodgers bad. It doesn't seem like the Jets have a plan B at this point. ESPN.com is reporting the Jets are closing in on a deal with Alan Lazard and a returning Randall Cobb could be on their radar as well. Simone, it's interesting to note Rodgers would cost the Packers $24 million in salary cap space if they trade him before June 1st, but he definitely holds one big card in the deck, and that's his $58 million overall salary, which would cost yes. the Jets, the Packers, or someone a lot of money. At this point, I honestly don't think retirement is a viable option, so the only question to me is, where does he play? So Packers, Jets, or possibly somewhere else? Possibly if somebody sneaks in at the was last Was Lazard game. already in the mix? Like, was were those th conversations that we knew already? I think, or? I think Alan Lazard basically let it be known when we did exit interviews with the players and yeah. stuff like that, that he was probably going to be gone, um, that they can't afford to keep everybody. And the future is obviously Watson and Dobbs. So I think that was kind of a known. And then the offensive coordinator, Nathaniel Hackett, that was, that's with the Jets, he likes Alan Lazard's game. He likes Randall Cobb. Could this be setting up to get Aaron Rodgers? Mm -hmm. Some familiar targets. We just have to wait and see. Yeah. The question mark still lingering. I'll be around. All right. Thank you, Lance. We'll be counting on you.